are connected with trying to make an Iran a nuclear power and accused of human rights abuses. Now this man, Rostam Ghassemi, handpicked by Iranian President Ahmadinejad, is set to become the head of OPEC, which controls the, most of the world's oil. He must now travel to Austria to lead OPEC's meetings. But not if our next guest can stop him. Florida Congressman Ted Deutsch has a plan and joins us right now. Congressman, what can we do to stop this and stop this guy? Uh, good morning, Brian. Good morning, Clayton. Thanks for having me. Uh, what we can do is to stop Rostam Ghassemi, who, as you point out, is a general in the Revolutionary Guard, which is a terrorist organization. Uh, he is also the commander of Hatam al Anbio, which is the economic front group for the Revolutionary Guard. Uh, he shouldn't be able to travel freely. And while he, as OPEC uh, president, has the ability, we can't stop him in his official capacity. We can go after those companies that are providing the jet fuel to any aircraft that takes him to Vienna for their meetings. That's what I'm trying to do in, uh, in moving forward in this letter that we sent to Secretary Clinton. Yeah, now you sent a letter to Secretary Hillary Clinton. What did you say in that letter to her? Well, I pointed out in the letter that we have an opportunity to prevent him from traveling freely, that just because, just because this man is now in a position with an official title doesn't mean that the atrocities that he's committed, the, the blacklist that he had been on, should, uh, should be foregone. He should still uh, be prohibited from traveling not directly, since we can't do that, but we should take the steps necessary to prevent him and others, by the way, who Ahmadinejad has put into official positions uh, from traveling throughout the world freely, uh, what the Wall Street Journal the other day referred to as an Iranian easy pass. We've got to prevent that from happening. So uh, essentially you want, you want to stop the company or sanction any company that gives him the jet fuel, but can't they make their own jet fuel? Well, the sanctions we passed last year focused in large part on refined petroleum. While they, while Iran uh, is able, 80 percent of their economy, in fact, comes from their oil industry, they don't have the capacity to refine it. They rely on imports. Uh, and as they're traveling around the, the country, they're going to have, around the world rather, he's going to have to make refueling stops. We want to be sure that sanctions are imposed on any of those companies that choose to make it possible for both Gassemi, uh, who is a general in the Revolutionary Guard, and for their foreign minister and defense minister, uh, also subject to sanctions, make it difficult for any of them to travel around the world. Let's get a little more specific here. And referring to sure. that 2010 law, which is the uh, Com Comprehensive Iran Sanctions and Accountability and Div uh, D Divestment Act, which basically forces mm -hmm. Iran Air from not getting any uh, jet fuel to fly around. And any company, any European firms who try to do that uh, will not be able to. What companies specifically, though, are you worried about are going to be given this Iran air jet fuel to fly this guy around? Well, the administration has worked to prevent a number of European companies from stopping to provide, stopping their uh, support and their uh, providing jet fuel to Iran air. Right. Uh, some of the larger companies, Total, BP, et cetera, uh, have stopped or in the process of stopping. But any company anywhere in the right. world that chooses to do this uh, should face sanctions. But, but the bigger question is this. We have let mm -hmm. Iran run wild. We have allowed them to kill their own people, allowed them to help Syria kill their own people. Now they're running wild in Iraq, and no one even talks about the fact that they're probably uh, in, within six months of getting a nuclear weapon. Well, listen, we, whatever the time period is, uh, the fact is we need to, to treat this as an urgent matter. Uh, we've seen just in recent days, we've seen the Iranians announce their plans to move forward on highly advanced centrifuges. Uh, they want to triple their enrichment capability. Uh, we need to take this. The, the fact is their foreign minister, uh, Salehi, is traveling around the world. Again, we need to prevent that from happening. Their yep. defense minister, their defense minister, who was implicated in the bombings in Argentina in 1994, is free to travel. Well, and we, we know their influence is also happening. in Venezuela. Congressman Ted Deutsch, thanks for at least taking action and making